Hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stoneworks video. Today we're doing something another, well actually, you know what, we're doing something else that's a little bit more interesting than before. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be either making the two of these doors into one door, which is going to make a big old door. Um, a lot of people suggested maybe attaching the doors from the outside inwards, so that then the doors would, yeah, I mean, if we turn those around, it would sort of, I don't know, open up a open them up a little bit more um maybe even like attach two doors to each other so that they're like one big door however that doesn't really work too well uh then i thought of an idea maybe we make it one block bigger we also turn them around so that they look a little bit nicer and they open up outwards maybe that would work kind of well as well uh and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the crane all the way along the outside now as well as the crane along the outside i'm kind of thinking that we have uh like a little crane at the end as well so that we could sort of I don't know. So what I'm thinking, okay, is the N-shaped crane, which goes from here all the way over to the other side and could go left and right, can't actually put things on the right or the left or behind. It can't actually do any of those things. So adding an extra crane on the back as well will be able to um, move those things around. So maybe that's something that we should do. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and have a little look at the doors to begin with. Let's have a little look at the merging things and we'll see if we can turn them around. Okay, so we can actually turn them around if we want to. And that is definitely something that we should look at. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's go to this. Alright, cool. Bring it all the way up to the right place. Alright, in fact, actually, let's do that anyway. There we go, beautiful. Bring it this way, bring it this way. Alright, cool. Then let's go ahead and try and make it like the right size and stuff. There we go, beautiful. And we'll bring it all the way down to the end. Yes. All the way down to here. That's beautiful. And also bring it this way. All right, fine. That's good. That is completely fine. Then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this piece as well. We're going to cut it. All right. We're going to turn it around like so. And we're going to try and move it inwards. All right. Fantastic. That's actually pretty good. That is pretty good right there. All right, cool. Paste that in there. Beautiful. Go ahead and merge this piece with this piece. And that is kind of what we want to do, especially on this other side as well. Uh, and then we want to make them a little bit bigger, and that's going to be completely fine. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and I've changed all of those doors over. As you guys can see, it opens from this side now. I've also made them one more wide, so if we go ahead and do this, they're actually a lot bigger than they were before. And that's actually a pretty big area right there, so uh, that's actually pretty cool. Alright, cool. Now let's go ahead and work on the rails on the side. Now, a few suggestions for this were use the smaller rails and maybe make them a little bit spaced apart uh, so that it goes along the side a little bit easier. However, I am going to do the easy option. And the easy option for me right now is to use the, um, the bigger rails. We're going to go from here all the way down to here, but all the way across. So it's not going to have this shape anymore. It's going to look a little bit weird on the back. But that is actually A-OK, -okay, so let's go ahead and get to it. Right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of a bunch of this little area right here. We're going to get rid of three of these pieces and we're going to do it pretty much all the way along. So we might as well just delete them all at once. There we go. Beautiful. And in fact, actually, we should do it on both sides. So if we go to the back again, uh, in fact, actually, we should just delete it from here. I don't want it to go too far, too far that way, uh, but let's go with like this. There we go. Beautiful. Let's take this all the way to the other side as well and bring it back the other way as well. Alrighty, cool, good. That's going to be fantastic. Then we're going to go ahead and type in track, and we're going to get the big one. There we go, beautiful. We'll go ahead and shove that on there and spin it around and stuff. Bring it all the way back to the other end. Alright, awesome sauce. It is going to start at the back, so we're going to put one piece there. That's going to be fine. And the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to drop this on there. There we go, beautiful. This is actually going to look really, really bad, but... uh. We're going to try and uh, make it look a little bit nicer than normal, I suppose. Uh, in uno secondos. Oh, man, how do I get these rotation things off my screen? We need to get those off my screen, man. All right, hold on. Uh, we need to delete this piece. All right, cool. We probably need to delete this piece as well. And then what we need to do is we need to get one of these. Yes. All right, cool. And we want to put it on there. All right, how easy or hard is this going to be? There we go. Beautiful. Nice. All right, cool. So this is kind of where our crane is going to attach together. It's going to go on here, and it's going to look amazing. All right, good. Awesome. 
Okay, so the sides have to be big enough to allow these doors to open over the top uh, and, and this to go over the top of them. Uh, that is something that we need to do. Then what I want as well is I want to be able to slide along this with a winch uh, so that we can go into any of the things that we want to go into, uh, which seems like a good idea. Maybe it's a bad idea. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, you guys kind of know what I mean, right? So we can slide from side to side and be able to drop our winch down into any of these rooms. Uh, which I feel like is a good idea. However, I don't think this is high enough, so we're going to go ahead and raise it up a little bit. Alrighty, so we've actually merged those together. I've raised it up a little bit more, and we should be able to put a winch either on either side or just one on the bottom. Uh, I'm kind of feeling like one on the bottom is an alright idea, but two, oh, well, one on the side uh, is probably a little bit better. However, if we go ahead and we get a winch, I'm not sure which one to use. We could either use the big one, uh, I don't think there's any point in using the big one. Or a little one, which we could just put on the side. Uh, and in fact, actually, that is probably what we're going to do. In fact, you know what? Let's go with two. Let's just have two on there. I feel like that's completely fine. Uh, we should be able to lift things up normally anyway. And uh, it'll all work quite well. All right, cool. Then what I want to do is I want to see if it sort of floats all right. Uh, and if it floats all right, that's good. If it doesn't float all right, we might have a few problems. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and attach these to some electricity and we'll just see if it stays at the back and we'll see if it tips over or not. All right, because it's going to be quite heavy and it's quite big. It is a quite big thing to add to the back of your boat. Uh, then what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and open up these and make sure that they fit, which indeed they do. They fit by miles, so that's good. And uh, yeah, we should be good from there. Then we just need some controls to make this thing go forwards and backwards. And also some controls for the winches to go down. And also some controls for that thing to go left and right. Yeah, that's what we need. We also need it to look a little bit nicer because at the minute it looks really bad. All right, cool. Delete like this area right here. Go ahead and just shove some of these in. There we go. Beautiful. That's okay like that. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to go ahead and do this. All right, there we go. We're then going to go ahead and do this as well. Uh, somewhere up there. Beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and fill this area in. There we go. That makes the bottom piece. Look a little bit nicer. Then what we're going to do is we're going to delete some holes in here. One, two, and three. And one, two, and three. All right, there we go. Beautiful. So there's some holes in there. Makes it look a little tiny bit nicer, so that's all good. And uh, yeah, it's actually looking pretty, pretty all right right now. Uh, what I want to do, okay, is I maybe want a control panel on here somewhere that allows me to move this backwards and forwards, and I can control it from here. Now, the problem with that is what's the problem with that um the problem with it is that i mean i guess i won't be able to see when the doors are open whether it's actually working so what i'm thinking instead is that we add something back here which is just like a um like a helm here we go let's see what this let's see what this works like uh if we put a helm all the way back here we turn it around and this is our crane control uh right in the center somewhere like here and then we go ahead and we logicify them together Oh, this is going to be interesting to see how this works. Uh, we go ahead and we log logicify this to the electricity real quick. There we go. Then we go ahead and we attach these. So, slider position, left and right. Uh, oh, that's not going to work the way that I thought it would. Hmm. Left and right. Okay. Up and down. I guess this could work. No, I wanted to use the slider. I do. I wanted to use the slider. Okay, right, I'm going to try and use microcontrollers for this. I'm not entirely sure how it works, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go and we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, if we go ahead and we just put inputs to all of them, and I guess if there's no outputs, it won't work. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Um, I'm trying to turn this. Yeah, all right, you know what? We'll just go for it. We'll see what happens. Um, if, if I just... All right, okay. If I just spawn this in as it is, okay? I don't know how you do this, but if I just spawn it in as it is... Uh, oh, you know, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Alrighty, okay, so, um, we're not going to mess around with the big ones anymore. We're going to go ahead and replace this entire thing with a little one. Yes, we're going to go ahead and do this all the way across. There we go, beautiful. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And we're also going to just go in track, and we're going to get the little one, which is the, uh, this one? I think it's this one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab that. We're going to go ahead and grab this. And we're going to put this in here, upside down. There we go, all the way across, except from in the center. So I just want to thank GB Danny for uh, telling me how to do this. Uh, well, maybe suggesting to use the smaller ones, then using the bigger ones because it's a little bit easier. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. 
There we go. All right, cool. Let's logicify these two there. So that one to there. And that is literally all we need to do. And then we can just attach these. We can we can literally just say uh, logic. We want this to go from left to right. So we're going to bring it all the way over to here. And we go and put it on A and D. So that'll move it left and right. We want it to slide backwards and forwards. We should use the other. We might need to use the smaller sliders for these ones as well. Purely based on the fact that it's really easy to attach this one to there. Whereas the other way around, it's, it's a little bit more annoying. So I'm going to replace these with smaller ones and we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, okay, so I've switched those ones on the side around a little bit. Let's go ahead and logicify those to this. I guess we're just going to put them on W and S and uh, we should be able to bring them backwards and push them forwards as well. Uh, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, right, cool. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. And we should be good to go. So as long as they've all got power, which uh, they don't at the minute, they don't have power at all. Go ahead and attach those together. Go ahead and attach them to the light. Attach those together. Attach them to a light. There we go. Beautiful. All of these need electricity as well. So we'll just attach that down to there. And we'll go ahead and attach it down to there as well. Then we'll go ahead and spawn it in and we'll see what happens. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, they're not merged. They're, they're not merged properly. They're, they're just not. Uh, so we need to bring them back over here. And we need to merge it together. So... What we've got at the minute is this whole area right here is not merged. This whole area right here is not merged. Same on the other side. So this whole bit and this whole bit are not merged. There we go. Beautiful. Spawn it in and we'll see what happens. There we go. Beautiful. Go ahead and jump on board. There we go. Nicely done. And run all the way to the end. Here we go. Nice. We, so we should be able to do this. Yeah, it's moving. There we go. That's beautiful. Left and right works as well. We need them to be like sticky, I guess. Uh, but in fact, actually, they might be. They are. All right, there we go. So that's our current system right there. Sort of set up. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, but you know what? It looks, it actually looks kind of, kind of good. It works. It does actually work. So that's pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. Then we can just go ahead and open up this. Uh, which, that one doesn't appear to have any, any electricity. Neither does this one. What am I doing? This one does though. All right, cool. We need to put electricity in these things. Uh, and make them work a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty, cool. So they're all attached now. That's A-OK. -okay. That's actually perfect. Someone said that these two were the wrong way around. So we're going to go ahead and swap them around real quick. We're just going to do it like this. Alright, I don't know how to do, to do this actually. We're just going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to bring this forwards. We're going to bring it up. There we go. Beautiful. We're going to put it in the right place, which is there. We're going to make it slightly bigger. And we're just going to do this. All right, beautiful. There's that one done. And this one as well. Wait, hold on. Are they both green? Are they actually both green? Hold on a second. Wait, what am I doing anyway? I can just paint them. What am I doing? All right, hold on. We can just paint them. Uh, left is red, apparently. So we're going to go with left is red. There we go. Spawn that like that. All right, perfect. That's all good. That is literally all I needed to do there. So that's fantastic. Now all we need to do is get some magnets. All right, we need some good old magnet aroonies. There we go. Uh, and this is going to be like a two-man operation, which is completely fine. I was going to... Um, I was actually going to put these... Uh, or the seat, or the helm, on the top of this thing. But I, I figured against... Well, I decided against it purely because I don't think it's a good idea. I really don't. Uh, so that's a thing. There you go. Uh, these things up and down, they sort of both need to be the same, so that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and logicify these. So the magnet to turn on is going to be like one. There we go. Magnet to turn on is one. There we go. Down is going to be uh, two. There we go. Down is two. There we go. Down is two. Down is two. Then we're going to go with this one. Down is... Uh, up is one. There we go. Oh, up is three even. And then up is three. All right. Awesome. So we should be able to do some stuff. And that should work quite well. Now, one of the problems I'm having with this boat is as soon as it spawns in, it goes all the way to the bottom. Now, I don't feel like that's a good idea. Also, we got a massive hole right here. We can't be having, like, massive holes like that in our ship. No! We need to get rid of that. We need we need to we need to get rid of that. Yeah, we do. Heck yeah. All right, cool. Hold on. Get this. There we go. Do this all the way along the outside. There we go. We fixed the hole right there. That is fan-dabby-dozy. All right, cool. Now, hopefully, uh, this doesn't messes up i hope it doesn't mess us up but it might do let's have a little look right here and have a little look on the inside we'll see if there's any water inside nope there is no water that is 
Perfect. Alrighty, cool. So with this right here, if we turn on that spotlight and we go ahead and open this thing up, we should be able to just jump on this and bring it this way. If that's working. Is that working? I don't know whether... Oh, I think it is. Maybe it's not. Oh, okay. So to bring it this way, it's W. And to take it the other way, it's S. Alright, that makes sense, I guess. That does make a little bit of sense. That's good. Now, from here, I should have the option to open up any of these things. That would work quite well. Uh, they attach together, which is a little bit of a shame. That is a big old shame right there. I don't want them to attach together. So one thing that I might do is instead of having them both be the same connector, one of them might be a goal, one of them might be a small connector. And in fact, that would work quite well. So that might be something that we do. Uh, if we go ahead and we open up this, can we lower them in there? Is that a thing that we can do? Try press 2. Yep, there we go. That should lower us down. And that should be perfect. Yeah, as long as it touches the floor down there, I'm happy. Uh, if it doesn't touch the floor, I'm not happy. Alrighty, it's getting very close. It is getting very, very close. And there we go, we're on the floor. So that is completely fine. Uh, and that should work pretty well. Nice. Alright, cool. I'm happy with that. I am actually happy with this crane right now. Uh, it's not a very big crane, let's be honest. It, it is a pretty small crane. And all I can do with it is I can move things from all the way over here to all the way back here. Now... Uh, there is a little bit of an issue with this, and the issue is, I don't really have a landing pad for the stuff that I'm going to put down. Okay, so that thing could bring it all the way back to about here, okay? Now, what I'm kind of thinking that we do, is I allow it to come all the way back to around here instead, uh, and what that'll allow me to do is put another crane here, and that'll lift up all the things that we can put on this little platform, and move them to the sides. Now, the other thing that we can just do, is we can put things on the top, and put them like on top of some of the doors. Um, now that would be a little bit of a problem. But that's actually fine. Because that one that would then be able to lift it up. And move it into position. Which is actually A-OK. -okay. So maybe we're OK. Maybe we're OK with what we've got. I'm not sure though. I just want to see what happens if I do this. I'm going to go ahead and close the door. And then I'm going to go ahead and raise it up. Alright. And I want to see what happens to the boat. I don't think anything good's going to happen. But I wonder how much bad's going to happen. Because we might just fly away. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. In fact, I'm going to stay on the helm just in case it fires me away. Uh, here they come. Here they come. There we go. They're stuck. We are now stuck and pulling them upwards. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, you can see the winches are definitely struggling now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, we're good. I think we're alright. And we can actually still move these along. So that's, that's good. All right, there we go. Oh, no, we can't. Yeah, well, that's not going to work. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open up this. And there we go. They fired out. Beautiful. All right, awesome. Well, that tells you what to do now. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump outside. And we'll paint the crane. Yes, the pain. Uh, well, the crane, I don't want it to be white. Uh, or, actually, instead of I don't want it to be white, I want it to be like a little bit of a different color on the front and the back. Or maybe just the sides, and then the white could be a different color, if that makes any sense at all. What I mean by that is I could just do this, and we could do this, and we could do this. And then the inside is going to be a color as well, like red. There we go. Beautiful. And I feel like that looks all right. Uh, we'll do this as well, and we'll do this as well. All right. Yeah, beautiful. That looks completely fine to me. Uh, the red's going to stay in the middles, and the white's going to stay on the outsides. And that's going to be really good, actually be really good all right beautiful there we go right there fantastic Alrighty, well since we've added the crane i'm gonna go ahead and stop this video here a lot of you guys were asking for a bulbous bow i'm not sure whether we add one on or not um i was also thinking along with the bulbous bow if i did add one on i wouldn't just put it at this height i would i would definitely make the the hole go a little bit further down and maybe make it go all the way to the back uh now if i did do that that would be kind of cool so maybe that's something that we could we could focus on. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, if I did make it go a little bit deeper, we can make our tank a little bit bigger. And uh, yeah, that would work completely fine. So um, yeah, if you guys want me to make the, the hole go down a little bit more, add a bulbous bow on the front of this, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys want to see anything else, let me know as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.